Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. A gorgeous day. I've had some playtime over the last couple of days and I've spliced and edited everything together so we have a fun project for today. Uh, some people are wanting to meet Hudson that haven't met Hudson so I'll give you a little cameo appearance of him. Also, I want to mention that there is someone in the UK that is interested in a round robin. So if you are interested in that, leave a comment and I will get those comments to her. And then, uh, and then she can set it up for you over in the UK. Our USA round robin is on its way. Uh, I think there's two of them that are out there rotating around. So um, somebody will be getting something, something soon. Something, something fun. So I think that's all the housekeeping that I have. There's a few thank yous, uh, but uh, those will come next. So, see you on the table. Oh, say hi. Say hi to everybody. Oh, such a good boy. Yeah. You gonna lay down? Hey. Hey. This is such a good boy. Okay, before we get back to the table and play this morning, I want to do a big thank you to Michelle. This is an amazing happy meal. I almost said happy meal, and it is delicious. So here's some, oh, I'm going to use those today. Uh, here's some envelopes. These look like little popcorn. Aren't those fun? Some wrapping paper with mustaches. Ta ta da da. Wonder where she got that idea. I will use these for clips in the book. An X and an O. I got a nice note from her. She did send some money to the village. You know that's always appreciated. But look at this. She saw this at a thrift store and she said it screams Lori Marie. And can you hear it? Lori Marie! It is screaming my name. I adore it absolutely adore it. So I'm going to put stuff in it today. And then she also sent this, uh, The Succulent Wild Woman by Sark. I don't know if you've ever had the chance to read this, but this was life-altering for me. I'm going to go ahead and read it again. I read it probably about, oh, maybe 20 years ago I read it, and it is life-altering. Um, it gives you really some wonderful permission slips in there. So I also want to say thank you so much to Dawn. Dawn uh, sent some money to the village, so that is always helpful to keep us going. So much appreciated there. Here's our fun project for today. I took a two-page spread here and a two-page spread here. I did not put focal points on it. You guys are on your own for the focal points. I'll put mine on later. I made two clotheslines here with clothespins and suspended tags. Very fun. I did glue the tags down so that they don't flop around when you look at the book, that they're uh, stationary. But that is very fun. Somebody gave me some clothesline with clothespins and so this is what I decided to do with it. All right. Okay, so of course I have an idea of what I want to do today, so let's go ahead and get started. And then while this dries, I'll gather some more um, of our supplies. So this is our village, alright, so I'm going to use the back side of that to be sturdy. And then I'm going to take a page and I'm going to glue it to the next page. You guys give me a hard time about covering the pictures. If I saved every picture, I'd have to move out of my house. So just like you give me a break for my spit and smudge, give me a break about not saving every image. Alright, so that's two pages glued together. Here again, sturdy, two pages, a loose page. And then I'm to my center signature. So I'm going to glue three pages together on this side. I'm not going to show you the images, you guys. You can get cranky. So I'm going to glue three pages together on this side. 
No, I just showed you the image. Well, let me have it. I know you're gonna. Here again we're mindful of where the center of the signature is. I've already removed some pages from this signature. But be mindful of your nice healthy book. This is a very, very fragile book, so we'll see how this makes it to the end. Never know. Okay, so I have three pages glued together here, one loose page, two pages glued together here, and then a sturdy page or pages that you've glued together. Okay, and let those dry. All right, while that's drying, I'm going to bring in a magazine. This is probably a magazine you've seen before. And I'm going to go through here, and I am uh, collecting two things I'm collecting background colors. And I'm also collecting images that I want to show. So I'll go through here. We have been through this one before. So this would be one I would save for an image. And this would be one I would save for color. Two different piles going on here. That's for the image. That might be for the image too. So just take your time, go through your magazine, Got some fun colors and some fun images. Ooh, how can we not use these? Michael de Young. All right, I'll come back when I've got my stuff. All right, my thoughts are starting to come together for this piece in our altered book. This is what inspired it. This was given to me by uh, Jenna. I actually help people purge and organize. And this was in her purge pile. So this is what has inspired this two page spread in our book. I have three cheap acrylic paint colors, my Stabilo, my book of course, a pile of uh, colorful underpants, and then a pile of um, what I'm finding as interesting images that I might want to keep. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I, oh, and art varnish. Art varnish. Now I use this to um, dilute the paint because it does not affect the integrity of the paint, but it does dilute it. I'm used to working on a bigger surface, so uh, looks like I'm a bit generous with this. So we'll see. These pages are old. It might soak it in. And I just mix it right on the page. Oh my gosh, it just said the ugly duckling. I hope that's not a, an omen here. So I'm just going to be working on this two-page spread. This is my sturdy page, and this is actually a loose page. So my first coat is my darkest, and then we will go medium, and then we will go light. I 
and you can rejoice in the fact that we did not put old book underpants on first. It does happen, gang. <laughs> All right, going to let it dry. Since this is an acrylic, and you can see that, you know, we can see the book text underneath uh, because of the varnish diluting that acrylic. Uh, since we used acrylic, we can um, put the Mod Podge right on the page that we're going to play with. So I'm just going to go through here and put on some colorful underpants. We still want to see that purple background, so we're not going to cover everything with the underpants, but we are going to uh, add some color. I picked a lot of green for some reason. You're going to get wrinkles in your underpants, so you're going to embrace those, okay? They become important. You do not have to put your underpants on straight. For as wacky as a girl that I am, I love my underpants straight. So do with that what you will. And I'm just going to put some colorful underpants on this page as well. Please remember everyone that I am here for inspiration only. If you do not have what I have, please use what you have. You don't have varnish, but you have um, a gel medium. Try playing with that. I try to use what I have, but my inventory is a reflection of what I do frequently. So if you don't have what I have, use what you have. So I just put some acrylic paint on. I'm going to put in some varnish. My Mod Podge is not completely dry. And yes, I am okay with that. Who has time to dry everything between steps? Not I, and I think not you either. Look at the nice texture we're getting from that, those colorful underpants. All right, dry time. All right, it's mostly dry. Now, if you have worked with uh, acrylic paints and Mod Podge, and the Mod Podge is not quite dry when you put the acrylic paint down, it will crackle, which isn't that exciting. Love that. So I'm going to put some more colorful underpants down, just building layers here. Yeah, went, went with a lot of greens this time. There you have it. Another layer of the fun underpants, the colorful underpants. And look, I picked a green paint. So I'm going to go over there and pick a different color paint. Apparently in a green mood today, huh? So I went back and got the yellow. I have a certain palette that I play with. Everyone does. I know somebody in the village is into pinks right now. and Very fun.
glad you guys are enjoying the Facebook village. Our village. Facebook Our Village. Glad you guys are enjoying that. I'm going to just reiterate that I need for you to leave comments to keep my, I'll say schematics, that's really not the right word, but <laughs> keep my numbers up. I need your comments, okay? Even if it's just a smiley face. So take the time to leave me a comment. I would appreciate it. Oh, this is yummy. All right, more dry time. All right, our two-page spread is dry. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the images that I picked that I would like uh, to show. I would like for these to actually appear. I picked a lot of the um, Alice in Wonderland pieces, and they are by Beth Keat, K-E-I-T-T -T, Brubaker. Uh, she lives in Texas. Anyway, if I use a lot of her images today, I am going to give her some credit for that. Uh, just because they're so darn fun. I mean, look at these. So fun. So let's just put some of those down. That white edge is not going to work for this girl, though. Let's see if we can take that off a little bit. It's pretty close. Let's try it the other way. I never know quite how to do this. There we go. So I'm just going to place some keeper images. That's not a keeper image. Yes, Little Miss, what was her name again? <laughs> Lost her name. Here we go. Beth. Beth, we're using some of your images. So I'm just going to glue them down on top of all of this layering. All this fun color. You see me tear a lot of my images. They glue down better than cut images because the edge is not as crisp. Handsome Hubby is finishing the fence today, I believe, or at least that is his prediction. Just have fun. All right, I am going to bring in a piece of napkin. Now, this is the inside of the napkin. You know how we tear the napkin down to the first layer. This is what's left of the, uh, the two-ply. So I'm just crinkling it up to get some texture in it. I'm going to put a generous amount of Mod Podge on our piece. Generous is important because that helps the um, translucency of the napkin. on the top. Nice. 
nice texture going on there. Let it dry. Here we go. Two pages of background. Now you're going to shoot me. All right, so this is the single page. Here's the double page. And here's a sturdy page. So we are going to do exactly what we did on here, same process, and we're going to do it on this two-page spread. Okay, so we will go back to our three colors of paint. We're just going to run through this quickly because you did it on the other side. I just want the It'll, it'll be clear. It'll be clear what we're doing when we get there. Well, you've already seen the end of the project, so you get the picture, literally. First color of paint with the art varnish. Now we're going to bring in colorful underpants. Glue them down. Underpants down, second color, Our varnish, Mod Podge is still wet, that will create some cracks, which we will embrace and love. Dry. I just peeked back at the other pages and I did not use pink, I used turquoise. So <laughs> that's what we get for cleaning our space. But that's okay, they're still going to, um, it'll be fine. It will be fine. Alright, so a uh, second layer of colorful underpants. Stick that on there, cover that. These pieces are clearly bigger, taking up more space, less time. Very funny. Okay, we got our second layer of colorful underpants on. We'll see if we can grab the right color here. Smoosh that around. Another technical term. Oh, love it. Clearly, my other palette with the pink in there. I do love that. And more dry time. Mm. 
All right, now I'm going to bring back in the images that I want to, uh, to appear. And I will glue them to this layer. Where is she? I know what's going to happen to these images. They are going to be cut and removed, but they will be creating a fun tag. So I am okay with that. Come on. Some of you were like, oh, you just worked so hard on that background. How can you cover it? Well, energy, energy, energy. I don't know what to tell you. and I'm just going to use what I have left. I'm not going to go in for more, so it's not going to be on the entire page for sure. I don't have that much left. A lot of playtime this morning, huh? My goodness me. All right. We have to let that dry. All right, this two-page spread is almost dry, except for in the center seam there. This is where we have our two separate pages. This was one, and this is two. We're creating texture on this side because it's not quite dry. Okay, all right, so what we're going to do now is find that ruler and we are going to cut a window. Kind of a large window the edge perfectly straight as always. My exacto is getting quite dull because I just made a bunch of pockets for the matchboxes. Still sharp enough though. Alright, and across this way. 
Remember, we're going to save those delicious centers for tags. It takes time to make tags. So if we can cheat a little bit. Now I went too far here. Can you see that? And then I think down here I went too far too. But uh, I'm okay with that because we are going to be gluing things together. It'll be just fine. Look, this, was, this image was saved. It's going to be part of a tag. Everybody will be so happy. So these are the pieces that we cut out. Those will be fun tags. We're going to have plenty of tags in our future, aren't we? All right. So let's bring in the troublemaker that started all this. Remember this that I got from uh, Jenna? This is the troublemaker that started all of this. So we're just going to take this off here. So we are going to be creating a double clothesline here. So that will be fun. And if the um, strings hang out the side edge, I kind of think that's fun. So let's see how we propose to do this. I'm going to put Mod Podge around the page carefully protecting the next page with a piece of magazine page. And can you do the same on this side please? With whatever's handy. <laughs> like that envelope. and juicy with Mod Podge, please. And a clothesline. Oh, isn't that going to be fun? We will cut those uh, clotheslines to the correct length when it's time.
All right, I need to walk away. Let this dry. So fun. All right, the clotheslines are in. The pages are not completely dry. But of course, I want to see it with the clothespins on it because I think that's very fun. I don't know, probably tags. I'll probably put tags on the, the clotheslines. But isn't that just the funnest? So we need a focal point here. We need a focal point there. And then... <laughs> Deaf, handsome hubby is on the phone. <laughs> so, yeah, we will complete this page, uh, but this is where we are at this moment. How fun. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. This is, uh, this will need a focal point. <clears throat> this uh, is pretty much finished. There's our clothesline there, clothesline there, and I put some tags on there. See if we can open it up. There's the tags on the other side. It's stabilized here and around the edges. This still needs a focal point. This is a fun tape, huh? I got that from Taj. It's very fun. I didn't want these tags to flop around and I didn't want the clothespins to flop around. So I did secure them with some uh, tacky glue. And so those will stay put. But isn't that fun? A little clothesline. All right, go create, go play, go have fun.